Hey, Gemini, welcome to your August 2020 Money Career and Biz Reading with me, Stella Wilde. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general energies for Money Career and Biz, August 2020. So these are general readings. If you have a personal concern, you can book a private reading with me. The link is in the description and I would be happy to work with you. So because these are general readings, they may not resonate with everyone. So that's why I say watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs. And remember, as I like to say, use the energy. Don't let it use you. Whatever fits, whatever resonates for you. Take the energies that are here and apply them to your life as it best suits your personal circumstance. So also thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I really appreciate you guys so much and I cannot believe the channel is almost up to 50,000 subscribers. We need to have a party. So thank you guys again so much and let's get into your reading. So Gemini, I'm sorry that these readings are a little late this month, but if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I've been through uh, some things lately with lightning hitting my house 10 days ago and then a hurricane coming through the town where I lived and no electricity, no internet, no hot water, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm back. Thankfully, the issues have been fixed. So here we are. We're going to get into your reading with this deck first for the general energies. Then I will dive in deeper with this deck. I will use reversals with this. We'll pull angel cards for you. Also a business mentor and a money and the law of attraction card. Okay. So let's see what we have for you. I've already shuffled quite a bit, so I'm just going to do one more. Let's see what we have, Gemini. I hope you're doing really well. Filming this August 8th. Hanging man, no reversals with this deck. And the tower. So something that has been twisting in the wind and just hanging there waiting to be resolved is resolved very suddenly this month for you, Gemini. So we have to remember the tower isn't always a bad surprise. The tower can free up energy. The tower can give the kick up the bum that you may need to get motivated with something. So that's what I'm saying. Like you could have been waiting for some divine inspiration, divine timing, a Pisces could be involved. You were waiting to hear something, you know, from them in terms of your money, business and career. Um, but I'm also feeling like this was probably the universe. It's just the timing wasn't right. There was a divine protection about it since the hanging man is coming up, you know, the major arcana. Okay. So the tower is going to bust some, something loose for you. This to me, this energy, what I'm feeling here is like, I think I've used this metaphor before in some other reading, but it's kind of like when you're a kid and you have a tooth, like your first baby teeth and like one is like hanging there by a thread and you're kind of waiting for it to pop out. And it's like all of a sudden it's like, like you get impatient, especially if you're an Aries right? and you're like pulling it out. That's like the tower. So something's going to burst and be, you know, free you from, from your suspended animation. And it's happening in Leo season. The sun card, gorgeous. So like I said, all surprises are not bad. This is going to free you to access this beautiful sun energy. And the moon, but we have sun and moon. Wow, interesting. And the page of coins. Okay, so Gemini, this is really nice. Um, wow. So we have Cancerian energy. This can sometimes also be associated with Pisces. Uh, and we have, of course, Leo, Sun Energy. So this is what I am feeling. Because you were listening to the divine guidance of the universe and you didn't force something to happen with this hanging man. You waited. Because you waited, when the opportunity comes this month, which it will, and by Leo and the Leo season, so that I give it till like the 21st of August. I'm filming this August 8th. When the opportunity comes, you are ready. You are ready to seize the day. And, and what I'm feeling with this opportunity that's coming in for you is that you've done your homework, you've done your research, you are well prepared to take advantage of whatever this news about money, I mean, here it is, news about money is that comes in. And again, these are general readings, apply it to your situation. This could be a new job offer. This could be a refinancing offer. This could be consolidating credit. This could be an extension of a payment plan or getting on a payment plan. Um, 
you know, whatever it is, working on something to do with making your financial situation better. And again, what I'm feeling with this energy too, the moon is associated with the intuition. It can sometimes also be associated with things that are hidden, blah, blah, blah. But in this context, what I'm feeling is that because you waited and because you were patient and didn't try to, you know, go against the current and push the boat up the river, because you waited for divine timing, your head, well, your heart rather, your heart represented by the Leo card and your intuition are divinely aligned. And so the success of whatever this news is that's coming in is just gorgeous. It's a, it's a success that is, I feel, going to give you a lot of confidence, Gemini. Confidence in your creative abilities, confidence in your faith in the universe with this gorgeous Leo energy, and also confidence in your intuition you know sometimes we do doubt our intuition and then we kick ourselves later and we're like oh why didn't i listen to myself i i thought i shouldn't do that but whatever situation gets freed up suddenly for you like i said it's affirmation it's good news and that you did the right thing by waiting and listening to your in intuition and you did not settle for something that was not right for you that was not aligned for you especially creatively so you know it's possible that some of you might have even turned down something the last 12 weeks so maybe june july you could have you could have turned turned an opportunity down because it didn't feel right and then maybe you know if you did that in june when venus was retrograde you could have been maybe kicking yourself because there hasn't been something else coming along and you're like, oh, why did I do that, you know? But you're gonna see affirmation, very possible here with this energy that what you did was the right thing. So this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's pull a couple more from the top. Queen of Cups energy, Magician energy, and ten of coins gemini come on now this is like one of the best money career biz readings i've done for the whole month for all the signs this is magical so again of course this is water energy cancer scorpio piscean but this is also again a message about connecting with your intuition connecting with your emotions and connecting with what feels right for you you know cup and queen of cups energy like this is like your empathy and your sense of intuition and your, um, you know, feeling like you really just want to feel 100% aligned emotionally with what you're doing. And because again, like it's, it's, this energy is reinforcing what I just said, because you did that and you could have had, you could have a friend who's a water sign friend who's modeling this behavior for you. They could be encouraging you same, you know, but this is also your energy I'm feeling. And look what happens. Magician and the Ten of Coins. This is a number one. Give this energy two number ones here. Give this energy at least until Labor Day in the United States, which is September 8th. Because I'm filming this August 8th. And since we have two number ones, this can be a, a full month of energy that's happening. Okay? So, but something very good wants to manifest. Work with this energy, Gemini. This is about a new starting also some sort of new project with the Magician and the Sun card that is very much a labor of love for sure. But it's a labor of love that has huge potential for growth here. Ten of Coins. And it's also very deeply aligned with your intuition. If you are starting some sort of new creative project this month, I should suggest doing it at that uh, Leo New Moon, which is happening August 18th, 19th, depending on where you are in the world, um, it may be time to really start seeing how you can, the monetary potential of it, but that's not your only concern. Your concern is also that it really expresses who you are from the heart and, with, and you know, is divinely inspired with the moon card here. So the magician card can indicate some new creative project now, that depends very much on your personal circumstance. This can be a writing project. This can be starting um, a new business, putting together a new course. 
um, studying for something new to get yourself a promotion. Um, you know, really making some changes in how you handle the finances uh, for your home with this 10 of coins here. Like I'm saying, like a refinancing, something like that. Um, but I'm feeling more so that it's the energy that you guys are going to be starting some sort of new project, new initiative in your life. And you're just going to be so glad you waited for this energy to come through. So this energy also speaks to the fact there may be some funding coming your way with the page of coins that will enable you to start this project like some sort of community grant, some sort of finally getting funds from wherever they come from during this uh, global situation to support you know, entrepreneurs and small businesses, things like that. You could finally be getting some, some sort of grant money to do that. If you're a writer, you could be getting some sort of little stipend or something like that to start a project. Or you just got one for another project and you're able to start something new. Um, so this, I mean, this is really, really good energy that that is going to enable you to put start putting in the work that will result in a treasure chest. Remember, the Ten of Coins, I said give it a month, but also remember, this is Capricorn season, Ten of Coins. It's the number one, and it's Earth sign energy. So whatever you're doing, yes, I feel will have a positive financial outcome this month as well. But you're also, I feel like I said, this is a legacy money. You're building, you're starting something so good this month that's going to help you build your wealth. And you might see another level of growth with that in Capricorn season. Okay? So it's very, very good. You're breaking, you're busting loose. You're breaking free from some stagnant, stagnant energy. Very, very good. All right, let's see what else we have. Love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. All right. What else do we have? Star upside down. That's kind of like the hangman upside down. <laughs> we have the hangman. <laughs> so this is, again, speaking Gemini to what I was talking about, where you were maybe kicking yourself, star upside down, that you had waited, that you said no to something. So know that it's going to turn out okay, I feel, from this energy. Yeah, the Five of Swords, that was like having a conversation with yourself and saying, and that critical voice inside of you going, oh, Gemini, God, you, that was really silly that you did that. Yeah, so interesting. Look, 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 we got the Three of Cups. So I feel like it's, it's interesting to switch decks and see how energy reaffirms what, you know, we've already looked at. All of this is speaking to the fact that you had doubts about the decision you made to delay and defer and wait. And the negative critical thinking in your voice, you were maybe really obsessing about your situation and did you do the right thing? And you know, this could have been a sudden decision, like I said, to leave a job, you just couldn't take it anymore. This could have been, um, and then, like I said, you didn't take something else that came in and then kicking yourself, you know, all these, these possibilities. Um, but look what we have here, the Three of Cups. So you will have something to celebrate this month. How could you not? With all of this energy that's here, and we get this Three of Cups, joy, celebration, good times, feeling like, yes, finally. The energy has shifted. So really, really nice energy, Gemini. Um, and I would say, too, with the Three of Cups coming up, like really, really do celebrate whatever win you have this month. I think sometimes, you know, we can be too quick to move on to the next thing and not really kind of pat ourselves on the back for, hey, yeah, we got through that situation. We put the work in. We kept the faith. We did what we need to do, needed to do. We listened to our intuition. We're starting something new. Things are starting to shift. I did a good job. I got, you know, some good news comes in. Celebrate that and really acknowledge it because 
the energy's been tough. It's it's not been easy as we know. So when we do get some good energy coming in, it's it's excellent to really note that fact. All right, let's pull some angel cards and see what else we have for you. And then we'll do a business mentor and a law of attraction card. All right, I like when these flip over. Let's see what we have. All right, that one's like wanting to come. All right, let's see what else we have. That one and this one. All right, let's see what we have for you. And no need to worry. There's no need to worry, Gemini. Reconsider and no. Okay, so this is interesting that this is coming up. I'm really feeling like this was the past energy though. That because you reconsidered and you said no about something, the energy shifts and we get the no need to worry. It's possible with this energy that's coming up that you may second guess, there may be a little something where you think through something, especially around some offer around this new moon. Um, there may be multiple offers. We had the sun, we had the moon, um, we had, you know, the magician, the ten of coins. There may be more than one offer coming in. And I feel like, yes, you're going to have to reconsider. You're going to have to say no to the one that doesn't align with you creatively or intuitively. So I'm just feeling like things are bursting open for you and but not everything is going to be aligned that's the that's the energy and message i keep feeling in my heart for you guys it's not everything's going to be aligned and i feel like that's a lesson that you guys have really taken on board the last couple of months is you're realizing that in order to be as successful as you want you have to have your heart in the game. You can't just talk yourself, that five of swords, you can't just talk yourself into doing something. It might work for the short term, but for the long term, and if you want success, that's usually not the way to go about it. So I feel like you guys are really understanding that. And so there may be, like I said, a false offer and then the one that's really aligned for you. And you may have to say no to that false offer. Okay, let's see. But there's no need to worry. I love that card. All right, let's see what else we have for you, Gemini. Let's pick a business mentor. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, that one is like flying. You got Kim. <laughs> you got Kim Kardashian. Act like the camera is always rolling. Hold a mirror up to society and play with the filters. No topic is off limits, LLC. Well, I think what this speaks to, of course, she's a Libra. Uh, what it speaks to is really um, tuning into the multifaceted opportunities for you, Gemini. So that are really truly, um, like I said, al really aligned with who you are. So you are the sign that is the most versatile. Let's just face it. So, but she is too, like she's done a lot of, Kim's done a lot of different things. So again, follow the thing that's most aligned with your heart right now. There's gonna probably be a bunch of different opportunities. So really tune in like a savvy businesswoman what is the thing that for right now is going to feel good for you, but also create that long-term financial prosperity with that 10 of coins. Okay. Let's see what else we have for you. And no topic is off limits. I think that's the other thing that I'm feeling too. It's like, it's time to just be unabashedly original and be yourself that heart's desire, whatever it is you want to create. Okay, let's see what else. Because the Tower card also suggests to me that there is something kind of electrifying about 
what you're going to be working on. Like it has the power, what you're working on, to really galvanize the public's imagination, just like Kim has done. So for those of you in, in more of like the public sphere, really good energy, Gemini. All right, let's find a money and the law of attraction. Okay. I can transform my own world. Yes, you can. Make lists of positive aspects. Make lists of things you love and never complain about anything. And as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention and be who you are, you will tune into who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. This is exactly what I was just saying. It is not your job to transform the world for others but it is your job to transform it for you. A state of appreciation is pure connection to source where there is no perception of lack. So that's like what I was saying. I was just saying like, there's something about what you're gonna be doing that tower, like it's, it's really gonna capture people's imaginations. It's electrifying because it's coming from your heart, that Leo energy that we have, that sun card. So as long as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good, you will tune into who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. Gemini, how are you transforming your world this month? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you again soon. Stella Wild, signing out.